seekers, Inga from Health Origins here. So tonight um, I'm going to try and make something from this marrow I got um, the other week. Um, and I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and do um, baked rings from this in the oven. So let's see what we can make. So first of all guys, I'm going to have to peel this. In fact, I think I'm probably going to use only half for this recipe. So I'll half it, peel it, clean the seeds out um, and chop it into rings. Get that ready and then we'll make a marinade for this. So guys, I've got the um, marrow peeled, um, chopped into rings and I took the middle um, bit out. And the where... Uh, there was some pith with some seeds like this so if you had some time you could take out all the seeds and roast them with some um, spices and perhaps you could you know just grind them up and pour it onto salads we, even with the skins and everything you know if you if you um, blitz them up a little bit so I know some of um, my friends have done that and I, I actually tried that it wasn't too bad uh, but I, unfortunately today I have a lot of time so we will get on with the um, marinade of sorts. So it's going to be like a tomatoey, um, tomatoey barbecuey based kind of um, uh, marinade, if you like. And um, by the way, guys, I've never um, cooked marrow before, but I'm guessing it's just like any um, kind of pumpkin courgette type, more pumpkin like so um just doing some experiments really so the the sauce um i'm gonna make um I'm not gonna give you exact measurements so i'm guessing probably about half a cup of um, tomato paste i've got here so organic tomato paste i have um i'll put good two tablespoons, two, three tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. I'll put a um, about a tablespoon of molasses here for the sweetness. And guys, you absolutely have to lick the spoon after. So now I've put in the molasses. I'm going to add about a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce for some uh, umami and some more saltiness and then I've got um, normally I would put smoked paprika in here but I've run out so it's just normal paprika so I'm gonna put a, a teaspoon of that so paprika then next I've got garlic powder so I'll put half a teaspoon of garlic powder and then we've got onion powder. So I'll put a teaspoon of um, onion powder. You've got to love the onion powder. So that's the spices done. And now we basically mix it all up until it's a uniform glaze or a marinade and we're going to dip the marrow slices in that and bake them. So I've got my oven preheating at 200 already. So let's give it a little taste. Hmm, it's really nice. So yeah, so now since we've got our marinade. I'll just be dipping these in, making sure to cover them and then putting on the baking tray. So I'm actually quite intrigued to see how they're gonna taste at the end. Um, like I say, I like experimenting in the kitchen. I've never made them like this before. But I thought it might be a fun thing to try. So I might um, need to do it two times or perhaps I'll, um, I'll actually put 
um, another side of the oven because I've got an um, oven in two compartments so I'll probably have to put another side of the oven and do another tray of those because I've got a few a few left and quite a bit of marinade in fact I think I'm gonna finish off the whole marrow guys because it's better to cook more um, at the same time um, and then put it in the fridge you could probably use it for salads put it in other recipes and stews you know um because it should be nice and you know once it's baked it'll be nice like a some kind of pumpkin -y, um type ingredient so basically i'm gonna do um the same for the rest in a different tray and then we're gonna pop this these to bake uh, probably for half an hour and then we'll see maybe we'll have to flip them see how it goes so guys it's been 30 minutes and it smells delicious but I'm gonna just turn these and gonna give them another probably 10-15 minutes just so that the bottom dries out a little bit Yeah, it smells like really nice tomato-y, barbecue-y almost. And I've got my other tray to do as well and I'll pop them in and we'll check them in, in a bit. So this is what it's looking guys and I'm going to be doing a little taste test for you. So guys, let me do this little taste test for you. Um, Unfortunately, not a lot of the tomato-y barbecue sauce got, you know, remains stuck on the actual marrow. I think if you put perhaps maybe some arrowroot starch or tapioca or something to make the, the sauce a little bit thicker when you, you know, you coat the actual uh, pieces, I think more sauce would remain on the pieces. But let's... Let's give it a go and I think if you marinate the marrow in that sauce for a little bit longer perhaps might you know absorb more flavors mm. Mm, it's not bad actually got a little bit of a um, sweet and sour going on from this tomato-y barbecue-y sauce I think definitely if we if we had more sauce you know remaining stuck on this because a lot of it it ended up actually baking onto the pan um, and that's a shame obviously because that's kind of what you want you know the sticky uh, sauce so I think if you made the the marinade a little bit thicker adding a little bit of uh, some kind of starch perhaps um, then I think more of it will remain and it'll be even nicer um, and if you had smoked paprika, um, I think it would give even more, you know, smoky barbecue taste to this. But yeah, it's not bad. I could definitely have that, you know, maybe chopped up in a stew or even in a salad perhaps. Um, or just have it, you know, as another, you know, vegetable on your dish with some salad. Um, perhaps. So yeah, so if you try this guys, let me know what you thought of it. Have you got any good recipes for preparing marrow? You know, any good either marinades or any other great recipes to use um, the marrow? I would be interested to know guys. So give me a thumbs up if you like the video, that would be appreciated. And uh, subscribe for more videos from me and see you next time guys.